Welcome. Let's talk about a very standard topic in the high school curriculum in geometry. That is, memorizing the ratios of the sides of a 30-60-90 triangle and a 45-90-45 triangle. What do I mean by that? We have kids look at these special triangles. Uh, maybe it's 90 degrees, 30 degrees, and 60 degrees. And we have kids memorize that the sides come in the following proportions. If this is x inches, this turns out to be 2x inches, and this turns out to be root 3x. Go away and memorize that. The second one, we have kids look at 45, 90, 45 triangles. They're right triangles with two 45 degree angles. So they're actually isosceles. Those two equal angles make it isosceles. So if this side is x inches, this side's also x inches, please memorize that the hypotenuse turns out to be root 2x. Now go away and do 50 practice problems on this. I don't know why we emphasize these two triangles to such a degree in the standard curriculum. Um, as a mathematician, I've never come across them. People might argue that uh, if I need to work out sine and cosine of 60 degrees, I need these ratios, but if I need them then, I'll just work them out then, and it's not that difficult. So let me talk about, just for the moment, how I, as a mathematician, when confronted with these things, would think about 30, 60, 90, and 45, 90, 45 triangles. I don't, will never have those ratios in my head, except for when I teach it to kids, only because I have to teach it to kids. Um, I'll just, I just do it as I need it. So let me explain what's going on. All right, the first one, the 30, 60, 90 triangle. Let me get it back on the picture here. So here's a triangle. It's a right triangle containing 30 degrees, whoops, excuse me, and 60 degrees. Well, my sensibilities look at this and say, oh my gosh, this is really half of something beautifully symmetrical. Let me just draw the other half on this side. And if I do this, I see I have another right triangle with 60 degrees, and this is also 30 degrees. The whole thing is actually an equilateral triangle, which tells me, okay, if this is w inches, this is just half a size, so it's w over 2. Great. All I need to do is a quick Pythagoras, and I can work out a formula for that height. Well, okay, if I really need to do it, I'll quickly do it probably in my head, but here goes. Let's call the height h. So h squared plus uh, w over 2 squared, according to Pythagoras, must be w squared. That is h squared plus a quarter of w squared gives me all of w squared. So this guy better be 3 quarters of w squared. It's 3 quarters of w squared. h must be root 3 over 2 times w. Bingo. So there it is. I came up with the proportions of a 30, 60, 90 triangle just by following my nose, not actually memorizing a thing. Um, what I do with kids, as you saw me do earlier, I tend not to call this w. If I call this 2x instead, then this is half of 2x, which is x, and this will be root 3 over 2 times 2x, that'll be root 3x. So unfortunately, my kids, because I do teach in the American system, have to memorize these ratios. It's easy to go that way. But to me, as a mathematician, I just say to myself, oh, look, I've got half an equilateral triangle. I can work it all out. So if 30, 60, 90 triangle is half an equilateral triangle, which is very nice and simple, what's a 45, 90, 45 triangle half of? Well, let's have a look. 90 triangle, two 45s. Well, if you think about it carefully, if I draw the other half this way, so a very bad picture. 45, 45, I've got a shape with four 90 degree angles in it, so we have half a square. So this is x inches, this is x inches, this is also x inches, this is also x inches. A quick little Pythagoras, not that you need to recognize as half a square. x squared plus x squared is this diagonal squared, that is, the diagonal, I'll call it d squared, is 2x squared, so d must be root 2 times x. So I didn't need to memorize those ratios in order to work it out, I could just do it. So, unfortunately, this is dubbed really important in 9th, 10th grade geometry, and we make kids do thousands of problems of the following ilk. Uh, let's take my pen back and we want them to do it with speed. So I suppose we're teaching them mathematical facility, which is fine, I, but the content for that doesn't really matter. But uh, let's say this is 60 here, this is 30. Uh, here's the question. If this is 6, what's W? Well, what we, what we teach kids to do, okay, is recognize an isosceles triangle with a right angle. It must be 45 and 45 then. Therefore, this side must be Oops, 6 root 2. 
Okay, 30, 60, 90 triangle, that's the uh, root 3x side. So let's call that root 3x, so x must be 6 root 2 over root 3. x is this side, so therefore w must be 2x, 12 root 2 over root 3. Bingo. Great, speedy, fabulous, wonderful. Let me now do it as a mathematician, where speed doesn't matter, understanding is more important to me. So let me redraw the question, sorry it's a little boring. Do, 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 do. A 90 degree triangle. This was 60, I said, didn't I? Oops. 90, and this was 6. Okay, I would say to myself, oh, look, I have an isosceles triangle, that's also 6. This is right isosceles triangle, they have to do a quick Pythagoras. Um, now, these things sticking ahead, I happen to know the diagonal of a square is always root 2 of the side length, as I've done this a thousand times in my life, so that's 6 root 2. Uh, this was W. This is w over 2. So in my head or on the side of the page, I'll do 6 root 2 squared plus w squared over 4 equals w squared. And I'm off I go. Uh, 36 times 2, 72 is w squared minus w squared over 4. 4 times 72 over 3 is w squared. w squared is the square root of that, um, which is 4 times 8 times 36. Ugh, sorry. 4 times 2 times 36 over 3, so w is actually the square root of 6 times 2 is 12, root 2 over root 3, which is what I had before. Okay, I admit that's more work, but since this never comes up in my life, except on very rare equations, as a mathematician that's what I do, and it wasn't too onerous. Alright, the key thing is to remember, if you forget those ratios, kids can rely on knowing that a 30-60-90 triangle is half an equilateral triangle, a 45-90-45 triangle is half a square, and most textbooks forget to point that out. That's a shame. Thank you.